Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am Prashant. I am the founder of Word Pandit and I am bringing this series of videos to you where I explain words to you. Uh, we will go through these word of the day videos and try to understand these different words and add them to our word power. The word that we've got today is bigot. What does this word stand for? What does it signify? It's a pretty important word, a word which is going to be very useful for you if you add it to your word power. Uh, bigot it refers to a person who is obstinately or unreasonably attached to beliefs, opinions or factions. This is a person who is prejudiced against others. He has viewpoints which are anti-others on the basis of their membership of a particular group. Essentially, bigot, you remember the word bigot with another word which starts with B, which is bias. So this is a person who is biased against other people just on the basis of their affiliation to certain groups or the category that they belong to. What kind of categories am I talking about? These categories might be a person's gender, a person's religion, a person's community, a person might be a part of a certain group or a certain subset or might like a particular set of activities, right? So this reflects a person who's very, very narrow minded and he judges the person literally by the group that he belongs to. Essentially, you are judging a book by its cover without going through its contents. So that is who a bigot is. Now, bigot, it, uh, in terms of usages, you can see the first usage reflects it. You can, in fact, pause this video and go through this sentence. The first usage here reflects a person who's a bigot, essentially for he's against someone's religious beliefs. The second is against someone's culture. These reveal their narrow-mindedness, their prejudice. These are words that you remember in this cluster. Which are the other words? Remember, clusters are super, super important. You can remember a group of words by going through these clusters. Which are the other words that you remember here? Uh, prejudiced, intolerant, narrow-minded, sectarian, dogmatic, zealot. These are all words which reflect a person who is effectively biased and prejudiced against others. This bias and prejudice is not driven by rational thinking or thought processes. This bias or prejudice is driven by the very fact that you belong to a certain group. That's it. As simple as that. Informal terms, which are actually great terms to remember this word. Narrow thinker. Tunnel vision is one that I love personally. Close-minded person, a prejudiced person. These are all terms that, you re that can be used to refer to a bigot. The opposite of this obviously would be tolerant, open-minded, accepting, liberal, unbiased, inclusive. So these are the terms which are opposite of a bigot. So this is a cluster of words, 8 to 10 words that you can remember together. These are based on the sentiment of bias. These are based on the sentiment of prejudice. And these are words that you remember and you learn them through one collective bit, right? So these are words of bias. That's the collective that you remember them from. Uh, the Word Pandit vocabulary course is all about this approach of learning words and learning them collectively, learning them through memory tricks, learning them through mnemonics. These are different ways and approaches that we adopt. Uh, you get to learn from me from the Word Pandit vocabulary course along with that on wordpandit.com in the learn words section. We are in the process of now adding videos, adding pictures, there are word articles, there are different ways of learning words. So it's essentially a gamut of free content available for you to learn words and to improve your vocabulary. All this available to you for free. So please go ahead and consume it. We've also got a paid course, the Word Pandit Vocabulary course. You can take that, take that up as well. So these are all the different options you've got to improve and expand your learning. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And this is Prashant signing off with his two favorite words. Happy learning.